it's only going to be a couple laps because it's going to be gnarly. Ooh, I kind of like the grip. I didn't think I would, but...
Alrighty guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, we ended up going to Lincoln. Um, this, is a, this was filmed the same day as the 252 stroke video. So you guys know that they prepped it a week before and it just kind of rained and rained. Um, so it was kind of muddy, kind of tough to get around in the morning. Um, but thoughts on the 24 YZ250F. Now you guys saw the first video of me riding that Heritage Edition one and I thought it was amazing. Now I'm kind of backtracking that statement because uh, it was kind of the first ride of the season and I was super stoked on it. Um, but here's my final thoughts on the 24YZ250F after riding Cade's bike. So there is a lot of improvements since the older models and this new, this new gen platform. Um, the new gen, I want to say the chassis is amazing. I like how they finally made them skinny. Um, but it, it's a great bike. I will say I love the KYB suspension. It corners amazing. That is one thing I really like about it. Um, but the only thing I do not really like is the motor. I will say that there is no bottom end on this motor. I didn't notice it at first because the track didn't really let me notice it on that Heritage Edition ride. But after riding Cade's bike with the back firing and just everything going on on the bottom end, something needs to be changed, whether it needs to be tuned or more air in the air box. It just kind of doesn't really go. And then when it does go, it feels like a two stroke. It just kind of gets into a power man and just wants to rip. And then it falls on its face on top. So I actually did notice after riding my bike back to back today with it, that my KTM actually pulls further in the stroke. So in third gear, my KTM will go further in the RPMs. Um, I will, I will not say that my KTM has amazing bottom end. You guys know that they're kind of soft on the bottom ends. I also have not run the vented side panel in it before because the previous owner wanted to sell it to me separate. So I didn't buy it obviously. Um, but that could probably clean out the bottom end on mine, which I don't really mind. Cause you know, when you ride a 125, you're going to ring it out anyways, and it's good enough for me. Um, but yeah, once that gets cleaned up, this, that bike would be amazing. In a perfect world, you could run KYB suspension on a KTM. That would be awesome. That's the one thing I would love to have on my bike. However, I just got my KTM revalved and it's a work in progress because I'm just kind of dialing it into where I like it. Um, but it, it is kind of tough to switch bikes. Uh, I will say his corner is amazing, but the KTM could be there too. I just need to work on it. But besides that, the Yamaha is definitely going to be a great bike in the next year or so. I would be curious to try a 450. I know it's probably ridiculous on power, but the 250s do need a little work. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, I know other people have said that. and I know this is kind of a totally opposite review of what I put out a couple weeks ago with that Heritage Edition. Um, but yeah, it, it's a great bike. It's just not for me yet. Maybe in the next year or two, if they make a small tweak to it, like the airbox or something, then it might be my, my go-to bike. But for now, I'll stick with my KTM. And honestly, what I would go to next is a Honda. So yeah, that's my review of the 2024 YZ250F. And thanks for watching.